On March 7, 2024, a Florida Highway Patrol officer in marked patrol car FHP 1389 observed a brown Chevy Equinox with Florida license plate 17BUK. The officer noticed a smoke-like substance emitting from the driver's side window and smelled the odor of burnt marijuana, which drew attention to the vehicle. <laughs> The officer smelled burnt marijuana and observed a black male holding a hand-rolled joint in a Chevy Equinox. The driver, noticing the patrol car, slowed down. The officer waited, then followed the Chevy as it turned onto Leonard Blove D. South. At Gretchen Ave, the officer activated emergency lights and siren. The Chevy driver failed to stop, leading the officer on a low-speed pursuit. The driver maintained 25 to 35 miles per hour, ignoring lights and sirens. After notifying the Fort Myers Regional Communications Center, the officer performed a pit maneuver, stopping the Chevy at 461926th Street, SW. After the Chevy stopped, the officer exited the patrol car and ordered the driver out at gunpoint. The driver complied and was arrested. The passenger was also detained. The driver explained he didn't stop because his license was suspended and he was trying to reach the registered owner's house nearby. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Turn around. Get out, turn around. Hey, Gordon. Keep that boy in the door. Can you tell us the reason? What's that? Say, can you tell us the reason you pulled us over? Yeah. Yeah, the odor of marijuana coming from the vehicle. Okay. After calming the scene, the officer identified the driver as Curtis Lee Christmas Jr. and the passenger as Curdarius Lee Christmas using David. The officer then searched the Chevy and found the previously observed joint, which contained a green leafy substance appearing to be raw marijuana. The joint was partially burnt, warm, and emitted a marijuana odor. It was collected for evidence. That's my, I'm on probation, man. Hey, trying to go to jail to check in the day, dog. Driver, what's your name, bud? Curtis. You know your social? Yeah, I know my social. What's that? Yeah, I know my social. What's your social? I told you, my, my I forgot to pay my ticket. I want to at least tell my girlfriend y'all didn't hit her car. <laughs> Can you at least close the door, please? Get out there. 
so it's so it's not soaking wet from the inside. Pastor, you're not your special. Uh, yeah. What is it, you can just look me up. I'm on probation, I'm man. I'm doing right now. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I forgot, bro. It's in my phone. Did I arrest you a few years ago? I'm on Saber 29. Yeah. I'm In front of the Wendy's. When I was speeding. Yeah, That's why I'm on probation, bro. Like 140 miles an hour at 82. That's why I'm on probation, man. What are the odds? And I check in today, man. Come on. Don't look at me like that, bro. <laughs> For real, bro. Hey, what's your name, sir? My name? Yeah. Perry. Yeah, man. You have to throw me on the ground, Perry, man. <laughs> yeah, but he ain't out the window, man. You got to throw him on the ground, you dog. You weren't running, man. You were just trying to get to the high. You definitely weren't running. You can't run at 20 miles per hour. The officer called for a tow truck and photographed the Chevy's damage. Owner Tatyana Bria Burnett arrived, learned why Curtis Lee Christmas Jr. didn't stop, and got upset about the damage. The officer said no one would pay for it and advised her to call asterisk 847 for a supervisor. I was going 20 miles per hour. I wasn't running. I was trying to get here. I wasn't running. They pulled us over. Yeah, come over here. We was we was coming back. We was coming back from. Oh, I'm getting my car. We was coming back from the stove, and. I was hitting the blunt, and they were on the side of us, and that, that's what happened. I, I told them I didn't stop because my, my life was suspended. That's the only reason why I didn't stop. I, I, I thought about my ticket when they when I seen the light. I was like, damn, my ticket ain't paid. I forgot to pay my ticket. So I was trying to come here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty fishy right now. Because we were literally at that light. So I was driving 20 miles per hour here. And when I got on this street, that's when they hit the vehicle. And y'all hit the vehicle? Yes. No. Are y'all going to pay for the damages? No. And why the hell not? It's, it's, it's what Excuse happens me? When, it's what happens when you run from the cops. That's not what happens when you run from the cops when you can literally see. I wasn't even running from the cops. I was driving 20 miles per hour. Or quote unquote running. I was driving 20 miles per hour to my destination. Somebody will be fixing the damages. Okay. So you can go ahead and write an incident report. Yep. And then my phone's off, so I can't even call my insurance company. And one thing that is a professional is y'all ignoring me. And y'all can't compensate that. There's three of y'all, so one of y'all can get on the computer. Y'all can't. The other one can come talk to me about the damages to my vehicle. As the officer attempted to close the patrol car door, Miss Burnett grabbed and opened it. The officer tried to detain her, but she resisted. With Trooper Davis's assistance, they struggled and fell to the ground, eventually handcuffing Miss Burnett. Trooper Davis arrested her for obstruction and resisting without violence. After Alley Cat Towing removed the Chevy, the officer transported Mr. Christmas to the Lee County Jail without incident. Hey, right now. Calm down. And you is not gonna step at the vehicle to talk, talk about some oh. I'm upset. You're allowed to be upset. Her whole, 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 whole family working with law enforcement, so you, you, you don't want to step out of the way. He was running. I wasn't he was riding. Running, so you hit my vehicle? I wasn't so riding. You can't get in front of it? Well, I did. You need to call. You need to do not talk to me because I am speaking to him. He's, I don't care anyway because I'm the one. You're the one that hit it. Yes, I am. Why didn't you blockade? What? Uh, why can't you? What? what what do you mean? You can't do that. What do you, but you can hit a vehicle? Absolutely. Are you kidding me? 
you, you, somebody's paying for it. Okay. okay. Don't shrug your, don't fucking shrug your shoulders. Somebody's paying for it. Okay. And it's going to either be you, okay. what, I need a number from your supervisor, honestly. You call Star Trek, I'm yeah. not calling no motherfucking body. You're going to get me a car. I don't have yeah, a smart ass. Yeah, when we ask for a supervisor, y'all got to give us a supervisor. It's unprofessional. Not, not as hell. We don't work like that. It, obviously not. But you can damage people's vehicles and get away with it. I need a fucking number. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you call Star Trek for seven. No, hold on, hold on. I love you. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait, no, no, you're not. You're gonna get paid. Stop. Stop. You're going to get paid. No! Y'all pay fucking touch up! Y'all pay fucking touch up! Get your hands off her! Get your hands off her! Honey, who do you think you are grabbing my car away? Get your fucking hands off her! Y'all can't touch up! Hold it out. Curtis Lee Christmas Jr. was charged with fleeing or attempting to elude a law enforcement officer, driving with a suspended or revoked license, resisting an officer without violence, and possessing not more than 20 grams of marijuana. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you all liked it. Feel free to share your thoughts in comment section. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you will never miss any episode of our enthralling series.